Okay, so today we're going to be talking about uh, the new updates in the iPod Touch, and these are very similar to the ones in uh, the iPhone. Now, they've added a few new features, weather, notes, mail, but the most important one for us today is the map. And uh, as you can see, it's a standard Google map, but let's take a quick look over at Context real quick. And we're getting ready to go to the AAG in just a couple of months, and we're going to take a look at where the, uh, kind of curious to see where the hotel is that the conference is going to be taking place. So we just click on the name, comes right up. And uh, we're kind of curious also, um, you know, what it looks like. So we can take a look at a uh, satellite view. Well, uh, no, it didn't quite work. Let's try again. There we go, satellite view. And so also take a look at hybrid so we can see the road and uh, the satellite. And we had the uh, traffic on. But we really don't really need that because we're walking everywhere. Turn that off. More importantly, we kind of want to know what hotels are in the area so we can see where we can stay. Can't really afford the Marriott Copley Place. So here's a few, but you know there's Sheratons and things like that. Still can't quite afford it. So what we're going to take a look at and see if there's any bed and breakfast nearby. Look at that. Quite a few. So you know we'll probably take a look at that and see if that's a little less expensive than some of the hotels that are available nearby. Now, with this functionality, of course, you can look for more or less anything, restaurants, pizza places, just name it. But what we're going to do is take a look at the routing. Uh, now, thanks to the location-based uh, information from Skyhook that we're going to be talking to on Sunday, we can say, take us from our current location to the Copley Place. Now, we're currently in Morgantown, so in theory, it should, you know, find that location, much like any other um, directions request to Google Maps takes a little bit of time as uh, the point-to-point -point directions get created um, but you know not too long you know, most people don't do directions from the East Coast to the West Coast which you know, would really take a while now you can see it uh, overlaid on uh, the satellite view takes about 10 hours if we want to drive there gonna fly of course but let's take a look at it on the map base much more clear um, but you know, let's make sure that it's getting Morgantown, where we're starting from. And of course, that's actually uh, in the right area. Um, as always with uh, the iPod Touch and the iPhone, you have the ability to um, squeeze and pinch, uh, turn off the routing so we don't see the line anymore, and that's really where we are right now. Uh, a little bit off because, of course, it's doing it by IP address because Morgantown hasn't been um, driven by um, Skyhook, most likely. But, you know, really, for doing something at that scale, not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at a quick search in Morgantown for pizza to see, you know, we've looked at a large area like Boston. What can it do in a small town like Morgantown? And look at there. Still pulls it up, pulling from things like stupid pages and otherwise um, to pull your information that's near you. So very cool, very uh, useful. And as we said, you can... Um, look at different views, uh, look at the traffic uh, for areas that have that available, and you can even you know create your own drop pins. So that's about it for the functionality that we wanted to talk about. But you know what? Let's just do one more quick search just to show you the, the speed that it can actually go at. Um, so let's just look for something fairly simple like where 2.0 where, where is going to be taking place in Burlingame, California in uh, May this year. And it comes right up uh, you can, of course, look at the details of Burlingame by clicking on the, the information. Um, you can even save that in your contacts list if you want to. Uh, click on the map itself, and we can see that it's right by San Francisco Airport. All the information that you'd want uh, at the tip of your fingers.